Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. I'm going to do something a little different than I'd normally do. I'm typically focused on the gameplay, giving you tips and tricks to help you step up your game and win more often. Um, but today I'm going to focus a little bit more on myself, focus on uh, what I'm going through right now and how it's going to affect my channel, how it has affected my channel in the past and how it will affect my channel in the future because I'm going through some personal changes and my channel is as well. And so I want to let you all know what's going on and keep you up to date because I have the most amazing fans and subscribers, supporters that anybody could ever ask for. The absolute best on YouTube. You guys are fantastic. You've been with me through thick and thin for months and years. And I really appreciate all of your, uh, your uh, support. And I want to keep you up to date and let you know what's going on. So let's, uh, before I get into all that, let me just tell you a little bit about the game so you know what you're looking at here. Uh, this is the brand new playlist, uh, what is it, Team uh, Team Throwdown, and it's it's really kind of fun, I, I, I enjoy it for the most part, it's kind of a Slayer Pro MLG type of playlist, where there's a lot more restrictions, kind of going back to the old school type of Halo, there's no customized loadouts, there are loadouts, but they're predetermined, you don't get to customize them, you get resupply on the grenades, I believe, so that's nice. Uh, there's no radar. Do you see a radar here? But it doesn't display your enemy's movements, only your teammates, so it's kind of useless. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just some of the standard Slayer Pro MLG type of features. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go through them all, but it, it, it is a good game. It, a good, it's a good playlist, and this particular game is a good game. I ended up getting 22 kills and 10 deaths, so a pretty good spread there. Uh, and we're playing Capture the Flag. And I actually contributed substantially towards the hill time. And so between my spread and the, my time in the hill, I really had an outstanding game. And on top of it, there's some very entertaining plays that I think you're going to enjoy. I had a couple snapshots back to back towards the end of the game. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, I, I thought they were impressive. Snapshots are just fun either way. And uh, also I get a really clutch triple kill at the end of the game where I'm holding down the hill there's a very tight margin of victory, and uh, at the very waning seconds of the game, I'm able to, to pick up a triple kill in the hill while I'm defending the hill and win the game. So anyway, I think you guys will enjoy the gameplay as I talk about some of these other topics. So let me get to that. First of all, let's touch on the past. What What's going on with my channel historically? Uh, you know, if you've been following, subscribing for the last few weeks or months, you'll, you'll notice that I've, I've hardly uploaded anything at all. Uh, number one, I was sick for a couple of weeks, and that completely put me out. I wasn't playing Halo, I wasn't working, I wasn't making videos, I wasn't doing anything. I was just parked on the sofa for like two weeks solid. It was really miserable. I've never been so sick in my entire life, but uh, that definitely contributed to the lack of content on my channel. Uh, additionally, um, I've, I've been working on my book a lot more lately. For those of you who don't who don't know, I've been I've been working on a book for about two years now, and um, it was coming along very slowly. And about three months ago, I decided to quit my job and just focus on the book full time, just finish it up, so that I can have it done and then kind of move on with my life and and see where things go from there. So, uh, for the last. Uh, three months I've just really been focusing on this book as much as possible trying to get it done and I'm really excited to say that it's it's getting very very close uh, I'm probably about 85 percent done at this point and I'm sending it off to an editor later this week to have it reviewed for content and get some feedback and so forth so I'm excited about that step and uh, I'm hoping to have it published uh, later this spring like maybe May or June so that's my kind of my targets and my timelines and and because these deadlines are starting to approach and other people are getting involved uh, you know it just everything i all my time and attention all my focus is just being driven into this book and frankly it's just not only is it time consuming but it's just more important than my halo channel uh, i've been doing this for years and i love doing it but it really is just a hobby and this book is much more important and so it's taking precedence it has taken precedence and it will take precedence going into the future and so that's the other thing I want to talk about is the future of my channel and the future of my channel you know I'm just not going to be posting nearly as much um, I, I would like to focus on doing a lot more spotlights because those require far less effort on my part 
And so I really strongly encourage you to start creating your own videos and to uh, send me links and share your videos with me. And uh, I'm really going to be eager to spotlight some, some videos from other, other channels. And I, I really focus on quality videos. I don't just put anything up. I really make sure to find the very best uh, video creators, the very best gamers who have the very best ideas. Uh, I like to keep it clean. You know, I, I don't put up anything that uh, other people have created that isn't as clean as something I would create. So uh, that's probably going to be, there's going to be a lot more spotlights or at least the ratio of spotlights is going to be a lot higher in the future because I just don't have the time to create as many videos as I used to. And on top of it, I do. I have to. I have to. I gotta make a confession right here. I have to admit something. I'm just not enjoying Halo as much as I used to. And I don't know how much of that is just my personal change of preference. You know, my just a change in my taste. And how much of it is the game? And I, you know, I'm relatively disappointed with the game. It's. It certainly has. Uh, it's it's a good game. Uh, there's a lot of strong points to the game. A lot of pluses, but. In a lot of ways, it's, it's let me down, and so, in that sense, my passion for Halo is is definitely diminished. So, between you know my diminished passion for the game and my my limited time, it, my channel is just really being constricted, and it's kind of just being pushed to the side right now. And uh, it it very well could be pushed to the side even further as time goes on. And you know, I, I will say this, uh, my book is about being successful. It's kind of a tips and tricks for life, tips and tricks for being successful in life kind of book. It's a self-improvement book. And um, you know, part of what I talk about in the book is that in order to be successful, you have to be able to embrace change. You know, because part of being successful is, you know, moving from point A to point B, right? You're at point A now, you want to be at point B. And so in order to get there, there has to be changes. And so you have to be able to embrace change. You have to be able to grow and progress and evolve and improve over time. You know, that's what you have to do in order to be successful. That's part of it anyway. And so that's a big part of my book. And that's kind of what I'm going through right now is I'm going through some personal changes. I'm kind of evolving and progressing and growing in a personal way. And uh, the... <laughs> I, I just have to admit that my Halo channel is kind of being left out. But the the idea is that I'm, I'm kind of moving on towards more important things. Because although Halo is fantastic and it means a lot to a lot of people, it's still, it's just recreation. And the type of things, the type of changes that I can make with my book and the type of ways that I can influence other people, um, you know, I, I can just help people with things that are just much more important than Halo. And so that's why it's becoming a priority for me. And that's why I feel good about some of the changes that I'm making is because these changes will will improve people's lives uh, beyond simply a video game. So uh, that, that's kind of what I'm going through and why I'm going through it. Now keep your eyes peeled because I believe the snapshots should be coming up here shortly. And I think you're really going to like them as I said. So let's keep an eye out for those snapshots. Okay, there's one. I kind of yoinked a guy there. But the second one, I'm going to get another snapshot here. It's not not too shabby either. Let's keep an eye out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and I was kind of being aggressive here. Uh, I don't normally go for the no scopes, but uh, I, I just decided to kind of let loose and uh, kind of take an anything goes philosophy when it came to this gameplay because uh, I, I had nothing to lose. So I went for some no scopes. I got a few of them, you know, connected on a couple no scopes, missed on several. And, uh, you know, the result was uh, mild inaccuracy accompanied by some pretty sweet no-scope shots, some pretty sweet snapshots. So here I decided to go for the sword because I figured, okay, close quarter combat, hold down the hill, sword be a good weapon here. And uh, I am able to actually get our team, regain the lead here. Um, I got a teammate in here helping me out. And I'm going to I'm gonna yoink him as well. I, I mean, I didn't really... I was already going for the guy. As soon as I saw him, I went for him, and then my teammate kind of went into assassination mode, and I yoinked him. That's just kind of the way it worked. But I, I never really feel too bad about yoinking because it feels like, you know, if you want to win the game, which I always do, you're just best off killing as many people as you can as quickly as you can. Here I lose the guy. I don't have the radar. I can't find him, and he ends up beating me down. But 
you're better off just killing somebody and taking them down. I'm not worried about score necessarily. I just want to kill people and win the game. So uh, that's kind of my mindset when it comes to yoinking. I, I really don't take it personally when other people yoink me. And I don't, I don't make it a personal thing when I yoink other people. So uh, keep your eyes peeled here as we wind down towards the end of the game. You can see basically each team is neck and neck going into the final couple minutes. It's going to be a really tight game. And like I said, at the very end, the hill's going to be right here, bottom middle. And I'm going to get a triple kill while I'm holding down the hill. And it's going to be enough to get our team the victory. So I think you're going to enjoy that that final play. I I, I, I was even I was, I, I was really trying to get this overkill. You'll see it when it comes up. I was really trying to get an over because I killed three people. And there's still a fourth person in the hill. And I know there isn't an extermination medal any longer. But it would have theoretically been an overkill extermination if I would have got that fourth kill. Uh, I, I really wanted it. I was trying to get this fourth guy. You're going to see when it comes up, but it just wasn't meant to be. It didn't happen. So I'm going to respawn here, and then we're going to we're gonna get to that play. Um, but again, in, in review, I just want to thank everybody who's been so supportive of my channel over the years. And uh, you guys are the best. You're fantastic. And I really appreciate all the, the, the friendship and support that you've given me. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying, like, th this is goodbye or anything. But I just don't think that you, you, you know, I, I don't anticipate uploading very often from here on out. You know, maybe once a month or something like that. I don't know. Maybe more, maybe less. We'll just have to see. But if things are going to get really busy for me right now. Because even, even if I finish the book and I put that behind me, uh, I, I'm still going to have lots of other stuff. I'm trying to get into grad school. And so I'm going to be uh, prepping for the GMAT. That's going to take a ton of time. Okay, here's the triple. I got one kill. Uh, leaping around for the double kill. Shoot him down. Beat down melee attack for the triple kill. I got the fourth guy in here. And I'm trying to finish him off for the overkill extermination. Uh, get him to like one shot. But I have to reload and I, I can't finish him. So it's driving me nuts there. Like I was saying, I mean, I'm going to have to study for the GMAT. Do grad school applications. I got to finish this book. I got all kinds of things going on. And so... Uh, this is kind of the beginning of the end in terms of my channel, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll keep you posted as things progress. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with your friends. Add it to your favorites. This is Halo4Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.